The U.S. District Judge says the mandate was unlawful and that it exceeds the authority of the CDC because its implementation violated administrative law. Now, the mask mandate required passengers to wear a face covering on airplanes, trains, and other modes of public transportation. Last week, the CDC extended it through May 3rd. Officials pointing to the recent rise in COVID-19 cases throughout the U.S. as part of the reason for that extension. The White House press secretary is calling the ruling disappointing and said the CDC is reviewing that decision. And certainly no one here is trying to provoke uncertainty with passengers. We also think the mask mandate should be in place and that it's safer for individuals who are flying to continue to wear masks. So we would say to anyone sitting out there, we recommend you wear masks on the airplane. And then as soon as we can provide an update from here, hopefully soon, we'll provide that to all of you. Now, some airline companies are already posting messages to their websites about the ruling, telling travelers that masks are now optional. In a statement, the TSA says effective immediately, TSA will no longer enforce its security directives and emergency amendment requiring mask use on public transportation and transportation hubs. TSA will also rescind the new security directives that were scheduled to take effect tomorrow. Now, the Department of Justice has not said if it will try to appeal that ruling. Reporting in the studio, Pari Cruz News 3.